name is Furkan Noor. I am an Applications Engineer in Maxim Integrated. Today I will be discussing about the performance optimization of synchronous DC to DC bulk converters under light load conditions. Synchronous rectification is the order of the day where the lossy diode is replaced by a low side MOSFET for a more compact, efficient and customized power supply solution. Efficiency and performance of power supplies under light load conditions are highly compromised as the average current requirement reduces, the amount of the current drawn from the power supply reduces, however the peak to peak inductor ripple current remains the same. Under acute light load condition there is a likelihood that inductor current can go negative. How the converter tackles these light load conditions depends upon the per performance parameters of efficiency peak to peak ripple and EMI. The converters can be customized to operate in different modes depending upon these design parameters. Maxim buck converters are available in three different modes depending upon how they tackle the light load conditions. These modes are called PWM mode, DCM mode and PFM mode. These three modes differentiate how the converter tackle light load conditions. Here I have MAX 17503 EV kit available to demonstrate these three modes and we can see how we can customize our solution to have high efficiency peak to peak ripple or a better EMI performance. The first mode is the PWM mode which is the pulse width modulation mode. In this mode the controller allows the negative current to flow in this way the frequency remains the constant while allowing a minimum peak to peak ripple. This mode also allows the converter to react fast in the event of any sudden load changes. Because of the constant frequency and minimum peak to peak ripple, this mode is suitable for applications which, which have stringent EMI and peak to peak ripple requirements. However, the price we have to pay is the slightly lower efficiency under light load conditions because of the negative current. Here is max 17503 EVK running at 500 kilohertz. It is right now configured in PWM mode and running at 1 ampere of the load. Now I am reducing the load current slightly from 1 amp down to no load. So from 0 0.9, 0 0.8 all the way to 0 amps. But here you can see even at no load there is not much effect on the PWMs not on the peak to peak ripple. It is because the device is right now working in PWM mode and it allows negative currents and the and you have a constant frequency operation with a stable peak to peak ripple. The only price you have to pay is you have certain degradation in the efficiency under light load conditions. The second mode is the DCM mode which is the discontinuous conduction mode. In this mode, the converter does not allow the negative current and the low side MOSFET is turned off as the inductor current is about to go zero. In this way, the converter gives higher efficiency because not allowing the negative inductor current. The price we have to pay is relatively high peak to peak ripple. Here the port is configured in discontinuous conduction mode and right now running at one amp of the load. Here again I am now reducing the current from 1 amp down to lower load currents. Right now I am reducing it slowly 0.9 amps, 0.8 amps and now it is starting to change the PWM shape starting to change around 200 milliamps and here you can see the device is now in DCM mode it is not allowing the negative currents and turning of the low side, of, uh, low side MOSFET and now you can see the, there is a slightly incre slight increase in the peak to peak ripple. However, the overall performance of this mode is great and it is uh, actually in between PFM mode and PWM mode for efficiency and peak to peak ripple performance. The third mode is the PFM mode which is the pulse frequency modulation mode. In this mode, the frequency is further increased by not only preventing the negative inductor current pulse, but also skipping a lot of switching pulses. In this way, the efficiency of the PFM mode is the best under light load conditions. However, the price we have to pay is the highest peak to peak ripple. Because of the skipping pulses, this mode is not suitable for stringent EMI applications. Now the board is configured in PFM mode and similarly we have the right now the board is running at 1 amps and I am reducing the load 
current from 1 amps down to no load and we have to see where the PWM changes shape. So right now 0.9 and now you see around 200 milliamps we have PFM operation takes into place. Here the device not only skipping pulses but also not allowing the negative rip, uh, inductor current and as you see we have a relatively higher peak to peak ripple in this mode. Uh, however, this mode has the best efficiency performance. The trade-off is that we have a relatively high peak to peak ripple. Here we can see the summary of these three modes with their relevant merits and demerits. For more information, please visit MaximumIndegrid.com, the link of which is available in the description below.